politics today is the chief minister of Sam Himanta Biswa Sarma trying to suggest that you're only a patriot or only an Indian if you hoist the flag. Is that the kind of proof that I should be giving to prove my nationality or my commitment or loyalty towards the country? Three opposition spokespersons have spoken and I heard them out with patience. So I hope I won't be interrupted because I have to explain a couple of various different angles. Firstly, there is a fundamental duty in Part 4A, Article 51A of our Constitution that says that we need to respect our national flag. So there's nothing unconstitutional by the Chief Minister of Assam when he says that let us have this Har Ghar Tiranga program and it is the Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav, 75th year of our independence and therefore everybody should respect the national flag and celebrate and imbibe the spirit of patriotism that was uh, seen by the freedom fighters of our country. Now having said that, let me distinguish between the two. There is the NRC. Now your NRC is a procedural action. It is an action where you have a right to get your name included. It might prove you're an Indian, but raising the national flag is a deliberative, intentional action. And therefore, raising the flag can definitely prove that you're a patriotic Indian. So it is one is a procedural action, one is a deliberative action, and therefore the two are not co confronting each other, they're complementary to each other. You can definitely be an Indian by putting your name in the NRC. But to be a patriotic Indian, I am sure nobody on this panel opposes the national flag. But I found it very strange that one family which has always raised its own flag and left alone the national flag. Today I heard the statement of Swati ji and she says he's speaking like the BJP chief. Is it speaking like the BJP chief when we say that there should be Har Ghar Tiranga? And I think that problem is because here is a picture of the Congress party workers in Nanded standing on the national flag on the national flag ka rangoli. Here is Priyanka Gandhi, a case was filed against her for disrespecting the national flag. Here is Shashi Tharoor wearing the national flag on his chest but wearing it ulta. So disrespecting the Tiranga time and again has been a part of the Congress culture and DNA. In fact, they've disrespected every institution of this country, the Supreme Court, the armed forces, democracy itself. You know what Rahul Gandhi says on foreign soil and therefore they feel that the flag of one family is more important than the flag of the country. Secondly, coming to the NRC hmm. aspect, the NRC is being monitored by the Supreme Court. The government of Assam has positioned a statement in before the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has to finally decide whether there should be a re-verification. And by the way, the re-verification is for 20% of the Bangladeshi bordering areas and 10% for the remaining areas. So I don't know Mr. Aman Vadud, but he's definitely very selective because he did not tell you that the Congress Party's official manifesto, which was saying that it needs the restarting of NRC project. A complete restarting of NRC and all across the country, the Congress party, by the way, has opposed NRC. So the Swa likes of Swati and Aman, they can wear one picture and one face on television, but in the ground, they speak a completely different language. First, Swati should tell me, is her party for the current NRC or is her party against the current NRC okay. in Assam? Shazad, you, will, you will appreciate that, that I did not interrupt you, but you still haven't answered the basic question, yeah. which is that today, is this the only form of patriotism? that is being accepted in the country that if you hoist the national flag you're a national or you are a no, citizen as far I as the country is concerned that. was that comparison even valid is the question that is being raised uh, I'll tell you it was not a comparison but yes the flag represents a set of value systems that are encapsulated not just in our freedom movement, but in our daily consciousness as citizens of this country. And therefore, today we have the right to take the tricolor and raise it and, and salute it. By the way, till 2004, no private or other institution other than government of India institutions or state government institutions could raise the national flag. These people keep saying 52 years, RSS didn't raise it. Till 2004, nobody had that right. So that right was not given by the Congress party despite being in power to ordinary citizens that they could use, they could raise the national flag mm. daily. So today that right has come through the Supreme okay. Court. I